Patterns are everywhere. They're in architecture, clothing, and even in nature. Pattern problems are all over the SAT. There are some helpful tools that will help you get through the most common pattern problems. In this lesson, we'll go over using the remainder formula as well as counting odds and evens to solve for patterns. No time to waste. Let's jump right into an example. If the pattern A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D continues, what is the value of the 101st term in the sequence? Our answer choices are A, B, C, and the value cannot be determined from the information given. Let's start by underlining the fact, which is our pattern. Let's also circle the key terms, 101st and term. When working with patterns, it's helpful to write the term number below each term. So here we write first under the first A, and second under the B, third beneath the C, and we continue from there until we see that the second D is our eighth term. Writing the term number beneath the letters of the pattern we're given shows us that the pattern repeats A, B, C, D, then back to A, and so forth. Our ninth term would then be A, and B would be our tenth term. We know so far that the pattern has four terms and that we need to find the 101st term. To find our answer, we need to divide the term number that we're looking for, or 101, by the number of terms before the pattern repeats, or 4. What's left over, or the remainder, is going to help us solve our problem. 4 goes into 101 25 times and gives us a remainder of 1. We've got our answer, 1, but we're looking for which term, between A through D, would be the 101st term in the pattern given. Since our remainder is 1, the 101st term must be the first term in the pattern, which is A. Looking at the answer choices, we can circle answer choice A. Keep this remainder formula handy. It'll save you lots of time and careless errors. Another frequently occurring pattern in SAT problems is the odd-even pattern. Let's take a look at an example. If the first term of the sequence is negative 2, and each term is 5 more than the term immediately preceding it, what is the value of the 99th term? Our answer choices are A, 485, B, 483, C, 488, and D, 493. Start by underlining the facts, first term, negative 2, and each term is 5 more than the term immediately preceding it. And we want to circle the key term, 99th term. We're given information about the pattern, but not shown the pattern. So let's write it out until we can see it. We'll start with negative 2 as our first term. Then we'll add 5 to negative 2, which gives us 3, our second term. Then add 5 to 3, which gives us 8, our third term. Continuing to add 5, we get 13, 18, 23, 28, and so forth. Now let's write the term number below each term. After the first term, we see that each odd term ends in 8. So, our 99th term would be an odd term, meaning it would also need to end in 8. Looking at our answer choices, there's only one option that ends in 8. Answer choice C. 488 is correct. Circle it and move on. See? Patterns can be fun. It's just like figuring out a puzzle. The strategies here help you put the pieces together and get the right answer, which eventually gets you more points on the test.